Hello friends, Pastor Brian Burkoff here from Holland United Church of Christ. In Matthew chapter 13, Jesus tells the parable of the wheat and the weeds. And in that story, there's a farmer who sows good seed in his field, and he's expecting, of course, a good harvest. But at some point, some bad seed is sown in there as well, and some weeds begin to spring up. And so his workers ask, should we go out and pull out those weeds? Now you'd imagine that the answer would be yes, of course. But the farmer says something surprising. He says, no, let the weeds keep growing. And we'll deal with that at the harvest time. Because in your eagerness to pull out weeds, you might end up pulling up wheat as well. And to me, this is a story that is so pertinent for our day and our moment here in this country in which we are so polarized, more polarized than I can ever remember in my lifetime. And we all see it and we all feel it and we all know it. Uh, there's a struggle uh, with what to say and, and how to say it. And we see uh, friends saying some things and other friends saying other things. And people are ready to jump on each other's throats all the time. And I think what Jesus is inviting us to do here is to pause before assuming that we see the whole picture. Pause before assuming that we are entirely correct in our judgments. To practice holy discernment and holy patience, if you will. In fact, the writer uh, Walter Wink said some words that I think are fitting in this time. He said, one of the most pressing questions facing the world today is, how can we oppose evil without creating new evils and without being made evil ourselves? And sometimes in our zealousness to do good, to do the right thing, to do the just thing, we may inadvertently uh, model or become the very thing we oppose. And so Jesus is inviting us to widen our lens, to take a step back, and know that we don't have all the information. And that friend who posted that thing that we disagree with vehemently, they are a fellow human being who, like us, experiences worry, who, like us, wants things to be better, and who also is, of course, a person made in the image of God. And so this text is a, an encouragement to me and a reminder to me that before we're a Democrat or a Republican, before we're left or we're right, or anywhere else on the spectrum, before any of those things, we're fellow neighbors, we're fellow Americans, we're fellow human beings, we're fellow siblings, brothers and sisters who are made in God's image. And so just a word of encouragement to you this week, friends, uh, that uh, we trust that God has the wider view, that God can see the whole even when we can't, and that while we continue to seek the good, let's be sure that we're not accidentally rooting out what we ought to let grow.